गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अड्डा ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन टूडे इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट लेक्चर इन बी एफ एम सीरीज वाई मोस्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट आई विल से बिकॉज देर आर मेनी इम्पॉर्टेंट लेक्चर्स बट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वाई बिकॉज टूडे विल बी सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल ऑन ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट बी पी बी पी इज रिमेंबर द टफेस्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द बी एफ एम इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड इट इट्स वेरी इजी इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इट इट्स टफेस्ट वन so follow the video till the end also i would suggest follow the full selection series because here we are covering very important topics over here yesterday we covered what new uh, objective questions on numerical on this bep objective questions means what is bep and all those important but today numerical so let's start without wasting the time okay okay yesterday i had asked you a question what was that question Using the equation method, break-even point is calculated as first solve the homework. Okay, first always go through the homework, and then we'll do today's topic. But homework is also related to today's topic only. So using the equation method, break-even point is calculated as what? How is BEP calculated? So what are the formulas over here? First, you need to always remember the formula for anything. I'll just derive it. Okay. You will say, sir, sales equals to variable expense plus fixed expense plus profit. Sales equals to variable plus fixed plus what minus profit. Say sales equals to variable minus fixed plus profit. What is all this? Don't remember anything. I'll always I always tell the students in the class. Don't remember anything. Okay, give me the basic formula for any profit calculation. It is what cost plus profit. Equals to sales price, sales price, right? Cost plus profit equals to sales. Simple. Now in cost we have two pro two costs. Okay, one is fixed cost. Second is variable cost, right? Fixed cost plus variable cost. I have made this over here. Plus profit equals to sales, right? So what we'll do? We'll just write this F and V instead of this C C. We'll remove all this C. Okay. So now we'll just write F and C over here. Let me remove this uh, C over here. Okay. C say so this C is gone. C is gone. Okay. So now what is the point? F plus V plus P equals to S. Okay. So once you get this, now it's very simple. Just take this V on the other side. So it becomes what? F plus P equals to S minus V. That's it. That is the basic formula of any break-even or any cost analysis, and that is called as contribution. This is known as contribution. Okay, always remember this. F plus P equals to S minus V. This is known as a contribution. Okay, so this is the basic. That's why I say never remember the things. Remember, we all know cost plus profit equals to sales. Cost is of two types: fixed and variable. Take variable on the other side. That's basic, uh, basic problem. So, what is the equation over here? Just try to rearrange this equation. So, if I take v on the other side, it becomes this: variable cost plus fixed uh, cost plus profit. Expense and cost means one and the same thing. Okay, it's after all expense is the cost and cost is the expense. Okay, so the correct answer is what a variable plus fixed plus profit equals to sales, isn't it? Okay, what is the schedule for today's session? Here, simple. We'll be dealing with numericals. Before that, I'll be telling you what is the break-even analysis is. Although I have covered some part of that yesterday in my theory, but also there are many who have joined today only. For those, you need to first understand what is break-even. Otherwise, what happens? You'll ju I'll just go and solve the numerical. You will al also mug up and write it in the exam. But will you understand anything? No. so that's why understanding is important a break even analysis is the financial calculation that weighs the cost of a new business service or product against the unit price to uh, to determine the point at which you will break even so you need sell pr uh, selling price so means what against the unit sell price unit means per unit okay this is a part of this marginal costing this is a part of this it comes under that uh, marginal costing part so it is what remember this word against the unit sell price so it weighs the cost of the new business against the uh, cost of per unit sales how many units when i sell 
at a given cost will i be able to break even what is break even break even means no profit no loss no profit no loss means what when i am in no profit no loss it means whatever i have invested i have got back that's the meaning of no profit no loss it reveals the point at which you will you have you will have sold enough goods to cover all your cost isn't it no profit no loss remember the basic logic of break even no profit no loss the point at which i am no at no profit no loss it means it's a break even means what okay suppose if i have invested rupees 1 lakh in a business okay and in next 5 months if i am getting net profit of 20000 remember net profit i am not talking of sales 20000 in next 5 months so after 5 months 20 into 5 i'll have 1 lakh so no profit no loss after 5 months so when will i break even i'll break even after 5 months so remember this 20 20 20 20 and last one again 20 right so these all are 20s okay i'll just mark this like this so here i am getting my break even after 5 months so it is the point at which you will neither uh, you have neither lost the money nor made any profit got it whatever i have invested i have recovered that's it a business will want to use the break even analysis any time it considers adding cost means suppose if i want to add a machinery new machinery i should always consider what adding a new machinery will it fetch me and in how many months will i will i recover the funds so adding the cost will always be this paralleled or weighed against in how many months i am breaking even remember that break even analysis does not consider the market demand this is the important part means how much i have to sell but whether that market will accept that or not that is the job of the marketing team those inputs need to be given to me by that marketing team because here this is done on the financial ratio basis there are two basic ways to lower the break even lower the cost and raise the prices simple logic if i increase the price i'll definitely break even faster right if i'm let's say i am selling some good at let's say rupees 10 okay I'm, and i am selling 1000 uh, goods over here so how much will i be earning 10000 right simple logic but if i am uh, selling this goods at 15 15 rupees and again i am selling 1000 goods only so i'll be earning 15000 if i have to earn 15 10000 using 15 rupees i'll be requiring to sell lesser number of goods right 15 nines are it's a very high 15 eights are 15 sevens are isn't it roughly so 15 uh, sixes are 90 15 sevens are 105 roughly 700 goods I need not sell this 1000 goods then at rupees 15 I need to sell only 700 so I'll break even faster isn't it so ra raise the prices or reduce the costs both the things are available what is this see this always remember the, look at this graph in any factory any machinery we always use this graph remember fixed cost is always fixed but variable cost it changes means if i bring a new machinery with let's say 1 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees investments okay if i bring a new machinery and i don't use that machinery at all i just keep it for dusting okay so i'll just keep this but this 10 lakh rupees or 1 lakh rupees whichever i bought it brought it it's gone so whether i use it or not it's of no use so that is gone that is known as a fixed cost variable cost means what when i start using the machinery there will be electricity charges if i don't use anything then there won't be any electricity charge so that is variable cost i'll have to employ a human being over there salary so if i don't uh, use the machinery no salary so variable cost means that cost which goes on and on depending on the use of that machinery if i use it in single shift then the salary will be lesser if i use it in three shifts means throughout 24 hours a day the salary will be higher so variable cost will increase isn't it before going ahead okay to the numerical everyone download at that 24/7 app now in this app you will be getting the premium study material current affair job alerts daily quizzes live classes live classes on what jib and cib both ebooks tests are available okay module wise tests you get uh, the subject wise test everything you get it 
सो डाउनलोड इट राइट नाउ ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू ऑफिस अड्डा ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस चैनल यू विल बी गेटिंग टू इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज फ्री यूट्यूब सीरीज वट इज वट आर यू वॉचिंग राइट नाउ यू आर वॉचिंग फ्री यूट्यूब सीरीज ओके सो सच अ नॉलेजेबल यूट्यूब सीरीज ऑन ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स यू गेट इट सो दैट इज नंबर वन नंबर टू लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स ऑन जे आई बी एंड सी आई बी वॉट एवर कम्स फ्रॉम आई आई बी एफ और एनी अदर इंस्टीट्यूशन यू विल गेट इट इमीजिएटली ओर यूर नॉट ओनली जे आई बी सी आई बी रिलेटेड टू बैंकिंग एग्जाम्स ऑल द अपडेट्स ओके सो सब्सक्राइब टू इट क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन ओके लेट सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल डिफिकल्ट वन रिमेंबर एवरी वन पे अटेंशन नाउ आई वॉन्ट अटेंशन फ्रॉम एवरी वन From the following data, you are required to calculate the following. What is this PV ratio? Break-even sales with the help of PV ratio, and sales required to earn a profit of four lakh fifty thousand. So these are the three requirements of mine. Okay, PV ratio, break-even sales with the help of PV ratio, and sales required to earn a profit of four lakh fifty thousand. But what is the data? Where is the data given? This is the data. Fixed cost is given as ninety thousand. वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट इज गिवेन एज दिस नो वेरिएबल कॉस्ट लुक एट द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सी दिस डायरेक्ट मटेरियल मटेरियल मीन्स रॉ मटेरियल दिस इज अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट डायरेक्ट लेबर लेबर इज अगेन अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इफ आई हैव इफ आई यूज लेसर मीन्स आई डू अ लेसर प्रोडक्शन देन लेबर विल बी रिक्वायर्ड एज लेसर लेबर सिमिलरली मटेरियल डायरेक्ट ओवर हेड्स हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द डायरेक्ट लेबर सो डायरेक्ट ओवर हेड्स मीन्स अदर एक्सपेंसिस ऑन द लेबर सो दीज आर ऑल्सो हंड्रेड परसेंट so these are also variable and what is the selling price selling price is given as 12 per unit so now in this if you follow the equation what is this f what was the equation f plus or uh, p yeah let me bring this equation over here f plus p equals to s minus v so what are, what else what all i am having fixed cost i am having 90000 then sellings s i am having 12 rupees per unit okay variable cost these are all the variable cost 5 plus 2 plus something 100% over here okay so let's solve this how to solve this how to solve this who can tell me okay what is the first question find the pv ratio what is the formula for pv ratio okay let's write it okay before going ahead now say this and this is basically the batch which uh, which is starting on march 24th cib batch in this cib batch we are covering all the four compulsory subjects plus the electives you are getting the recorded videos for others you are getting all the live classes okay so join the batches immediately 80% discount is going on right now double validity on maha packs what is maha pack maha pack means all the four subjects 15 plus batches and 80% off Use the code Y four three to never forget this code. This code will give you eighty percent off. And if you are using it on the app, you will be getting eighty one, eighty one on the app. Remember this, okay? Because of the coin system, use the coins part over there, okay? Chalo, let's move on. How to use this code? I'll tell you at the end, okay? So let's start the numerical. What was the numerical? Okay, what did we require first? We required PV ratio. What is the formula for PV ratio? Okay, now I'll give you from my side all these things. What is PV ratio? PV ratio equals to take this. Everyone, bring the pen and paper in your hand. Equals to contribution. Contribution. Okay. Let me write it completely. Everyone, pay attention. Contribution upon sales. This is. Contribution of one sales into hundred. See here, into hundred is always there because it's a percentage. Okay, so what is contribution of one sales? Okay, what is the contribution first? Everyone, what is the contribution? Contribution is how to find out the contribution. Say this. What was it? S minus V. What did I say? Contribution S minus V or F plus V? Both the things. But do you know profit? You don't know profit. So what? Do you know S minus V? Do you know S? Yes. Per unit, see here. It's always per unit. So S is twelve over here. But what is V? Variable cost. Five is a variable cost. Two is a variable cost. Plus direct overheads. Hundred percent of the labor. So if labor is rupees two, this uh, overhead will also be rupees two. So what will be my uh, this uh, variable cost now? Five plus two plus two. So nine. So twelve minus nine. 
this is my contribution so contribution equals to 3 so what is the formula contribution upon sales so what is my contribution upon sales my contribution upon sales is yes everyone let's get the figures contribution is 3 upon sales is what 12 right into 100 so what is my PV PV equals to 3 upon 12 25 percent 25 percent okay PV ratio is 25 percent so this is my first answer got it everyone such a simple thing everyone understood type yes in the comment section type yes contribution upon sales into 100 okay PV ratio next one what is the second one what is the second question given find break even sales with the help of PV ratio okay break even sales with the help of PV ratio so what is the break even sales and what is the PV ratio we have to take okay so remember the formula for break even sales is we want break even sales the formula for break even sales is fixed cost upon PV ratio so let me write it break even sales or just I'll write this BE BE sales okay equals to equals to what did I say break even sales equals to fixed expenses upon PV ratio so fixed expenses F upon PV directly I'll write it over here PV ratio PV ratio you can take it as 25 percent or 0.25 also if I remove the percentages it becomes 0.25 so what is the fixed expense fixed expense is given over here what is the fixed expense given everyone what is it given let me get it uh, from you 90,000 right so see here you'll say sir everything is given in per unit this is per unit this is per unit this is per unit but why this fixed expense is not per unit so remember fixed expense can never be per unit because when I bring the machinery and put that machinery it is costing me 90,000 so if I use it or don't use it 90,000 is gone so that's why fixed expense will never be per unit variable expenses will be per unit okay so getting back so what is the question over here yeah break even sales fixed cost is 90,000 upon oh, 9 it is 90 upon 0 0.25 so into 4 you can just do it isn't it so 360 3 lakhs 60,000 right so that is my P, um, break even sales so once I make a sale of 3,60,000 at that time I'll be at a level of no profit no loss okay what is the third question third question is sales required to earn a profit of 4,50,000 share I've got a simple logic now this simple logic is available for to me break even sales upon F equals to F upon PV now if I want the sales of 450 then what do I want what do they require so 360 instead of 360 I'll make this 450 so what is the question given over here if I want this what is the sales required so how will I get the sales over here in that case okay to earn a profit of 360 so what is the answer to this see the answer over here is sales means what sales means what here sales required equals to say this it is like this again come back to that basic equation so sales equals to F plus P equals to S minus V right so sales required equals to contribution F plus P F plus P desired profit okay upon upon what again the same thing upon PV ratio this PV ratio is very important remember this once you get this PV ratio things are very simple so F plus P upon PV ratio but what is F F is 90,000 what is P profit desired profit what is given over here to get a desired profit of 450,000 so 90,000 is my cost and profit is my 450 so plus 450 right 450,000 correct or no yeah over here okay divided by again 0 0.25 0 0.25 right so what is the answer now 450 90 plus 450 it becomes what 540 isn't it 540 upon 0.25 so what is the answer I am getting 540 upon 0.25 so do it now everyone do the calculations everyone let me see how what are the calculations you are getting everyone it is 
I'll do it here myself also. Let's do it together, isn't it? Yeah. So let's do it together. It is correct. What is the answer you're getting? Who is giving me the answer? Yeah. Twenty one sixty triple zero, right? Sixty triple zero. Right, so this is the answer I'm getting. Twenty-one lakh sixty thousand. This is my sales required to earn a profit of four four lakh fifty thousand. Other than the fixed cost, first I'll have to recover this fixed cost, and after that I'll have to get the profit. For that I'll be requiring a sales of twenty-one sixty. See how useful these calculations are. Whenever you have these calculations ready, it becomes very easy to manage a company. I'll immediately know how where to break you and how to break you and isn't it? So that's why learn these formula very well. Important is this PV ratio. Okay, contribution upon sales into hundred. Okay, once you get this PV ratio, remaining everything is simple. Okay, same thing. See this sales. This equation and this equation is not changing at all because here it was only covering fixed cost. Here I'm covering fixed plus that profit also. So if I go on adding the profit, if I want four lakh fifty thousand profit, this is my sales. If I want a profit of let's say ten lakhs, so again sales will change. The figure will be something different, isn't it? So just change the profit, and you will get the required sales, and that's what is required. Such a simple thing. Once you have the formula ready, okay. Now I'll show you how to use this code. Okay, but before going, this is for your homework. Variable cost per unit is given as seven. Selling price per unit is given as twelve. Profit is given as twenty-five percent of the selling price. Find the fixed cost. Now this is for your homework. This is what you'll have to do at home tomorrow. I'll answer this. Okay, everyone try this. Very important one. Very important basic one. Okay. Now I'll tell you how to use this code Y four three two. Okay. Go to Adda twenty four seven. In, uh, remember, if you are having the app, go through the app. Okay, in the app, what happens? You get multiple things. Means in the app, you will you will be getting one percent extra. Why? Because of the coin system. Okay, I'll show you how to go to Adda twenty four seven. See this. Go live on Adda twenty four seven. Let me go to the go there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, see here. I'm on Adda twenty four seven now. Here, click on the JIB and CIB. Once you are once you click there, you'll see the CIB twenty three. Click on CIB twenty three, you'll see the batches. Okay, click on this March twenty fourth batch. Now once you click over here, see this. The details you get it. What what is the date of uh, starting date? How many days a week? Then what is the study plan? Then remember, recorded videos are available twenty four by seven. Recorded videos means what? If you miss out on any class, you can definitely get back to it. Two interactive classes. You can ask the questions there and then itself. E-books are available. Okay, tests are available. Everything here. So let me go to the fees part. Twenty-three nine nine nine. Click on view offers. Put the code Y four three two. Never forget this code Y four three two. Okay. Click on apply. To get this eighty percent off, you are getting four seven nine nine. Twenty-three nine 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 reduces to four seven nine nine. Eighty percent off. In fact, I would suggest you should go for Maha Packs. In Maha Packs, you are getting 15 plus batches per subject. Means what? Say this. Let let me show you. Say the JIB CIB Maha Pack. Click on this. Once you click on JIB CIB Maha Pack, you will see the CIB ka Maha Pack. Click on CIB ka Maha Pack. You will get the details. Means what are the details? 15 plus batches for ABM BFM ABFM BRBL. Then case study batches are separate. Full length mock tests are available. Of course, recorded videos are available. Okay, recorded videos are there for every each and every session. Okay, so thirty five nine nine six. Click on view offers. <coughs> Put the code Y four three two. Click on apply. Now look at this. Thirty five nine nine six reduces to seven one nine nine. Look at the validity. Don't only look at the discount. Look at the validity. Twelve months. This is only in the offer you are getting. After the offer, this validity of six plus six will go. Also, eighty percent will go. So grab this opportunity. This is an investment for lifetime. Once you clear this CIB, in how many months will you recover this amount? Okay, hardly seven eight months, isn't it? Seven months is far long enough time. So go for it immediately. Okay, I would always suggest to join the batches ASAP. Okay, why? 
because this portion is new subjects are new you'll be needing a guide i'll be back tomorrow with another session till then bye